What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal Walkthrough. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yes, I completely forgot. I was about to call it Leaf Green. So, here we are in Valencia Island. We're finally in the Orange Islands, and, uh, well... We gotta, we gotta... Yeah, we have to find some stuff out right here, because, uh, this is all new to me. And, uh, well, there's a slow... Or there's a side deck just running around right there. So, in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at uh, a whole bunch of stuff right here. And this guy's like, did you notice Psyduck outside? That's my Psyduck. I was being naughty, so I told it to keep running until like come out. Stupid thing. <laughs> That's kind of mean. And my son doesn't treat his by Psyduck very well. But I know he loves it, really. Wow, that's, uh, that's a douche move right there. So, yeah, that, that's a doucher move. That is a very douche move, okay? So... See, too tired to speak. Okay, so let's see. This guy right here is like, hello, do you need anything? And right here, you can actually buy some items. So I'm probably going to buy a few. Well, actually not there. Let's go ahead and buy a few. Ro no, hold on. Let's go ahead and buy a few potions because this is looking like, yeah, this is looking like a fun uh, experience right now. And, well, our other objective is that we have to find Professor Ivy. Yes, that beautiful Professor Ivy. The one that dumped Brock. We still haven't figured out what happened. And, uh, well, let's see. I've lived on this island all my life. I've witnessed everything that has occurred in my li or in my lifetime. Hmm. You remind me of that, w that time. It was uh, only three years ago. Three kids came to the island. They were looking for Professor Ivy, a great Pokemon researcher. What? You're looking for Professor Ivy too? Well, her house is in the east of this town. I hope you're good at climbing. Oh, crud. So he's talking about three trainers that came to this island. He must be talking about Misty, Brock, and, and Ash. Let's see. A great professor lives near this place. Her name is Professor Ivy. Okay, so where, oh, where can I find Professor Ivy? The guy who runs the market has lots of things stocked. He never runs out either. Okay, that's good. And let's see. Talk to her. Hey, Mr. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Yep. That's cool. I want to be a Pokemon trainer too. That's cool too. And uh, let's see. There's nothing like lying outside with a sun blazing on you. I feel like refreshing lemonade from the market. That's cool. And I kind of want to surf, but that probably won't lead me anywhere. So let's just stay on the mainland, I guess. And let's see. Talk to this guy. Riding a bike is fun. I could ride it all day long. Wow. Not a lot of stuff. Not a lot of stuff right here. And, well, I guess we have to go straight up north right here to go find Professor Ivy. And this is Route 47 to Meadowtown. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta read that again. Uh, Professor Ivy's lab right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna check out the mainland right here. And let's see. I like fishing. Okay, so we're gonna be battling a few trainers here and there. Of course, their Pokemon gonna be, are gonna be a little strong than usual. And. I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen right here from, from here on in, guys, because I've heard quite a few stories that, you know, before I even started playing this, that this game needed a lot of updating, and it doesn't have the complete, like, the whole, the whole game. I don't even know what kind of version of the game that I have, but, you know, I, at least I have Pokemon Le uh, Liquid Crystal and all that stuff, so... I'm just gonna play this game like to where it takes me, and if it takes me to like just one gym battle and that's it, then that's fine. That is fine by me. At least I've done Pokemon Liquid Crystal and I had fun doing it. Now let's see. We're gonna be going up here, and we found ourselves a Nana Berry. So yeah. Now another thing that intrigues me about the well about this whole thing right here is the fact that, you know, eventually we did have our, well, somewhat of our Orange Islands uh, kind of challenge in the, what was it, in the Alola region. Kind of made that into a main region, main game, and all that stuff, and, you know, it, it was, well, I did finally play the game. Hold on, have you met Professor Ivy? Her oh, it's not from here, it's up the mountain path. Okay, so, uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna battle all the trainers right here because I don't want to deal with anybody else. So like I was saying, guys, I did finally play the whole Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, uh, what was it, Sun and Moon, and I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I actually enjoyed the game, the storyline, and all that stuff, especially the bad guy in this whole, in the, the whole game. It was pretty fun. 
I didn't complete the whole after game though because I don't know what the hell happened. Actually, yeah, I got I, I was I was busy with the work, so yeah, like I was busy with the work, so I didn't do that, and then I just lost interest and all that stuff. Kind of sucks, but you know, I still had fun with the game. Now I still need to play Pokemon. Uh, what was it? Ultra Sun and Ultra an Ultra Moon. Don't know the story behind that stuff, so. Like, don't spoil it. Don't, don't, don't spoil it at all. I don't even know. I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Yeah. So just, uh, yeah, just, just don't, don't spoil it for me with the Pokemon uh, Liquid Crit or no the Sun and Moon thing because I still haven't played that game and it, that game's been out for like freaking five years I think. I don't even know. Five years. It took me like. I think it took me like two years to actually complete Pokemon Sun and Moon and stuff. So, yeah, that's the thing right there. I think I, I don't know, it's not that I lost interest in playing the game, guys. It's just I got more busy as time went on. So, that's why you guys kind of see me attached to more of the uh, the old school games. Especially Generation 3 games right here. Because I, I really do like the animations and all that stuff. So, here we are in Route 48. And, Metal Town, Essence Town. Okay, so, let's see. Wait for my Pokemon, leave him alone. These people are paranoid and stuff. Okay, so let's see. Let's get this. And let's go with the Surf Attack right here. Yeah, buddy. Flick a tongue. Let's go. Crap, hold on. Shroomly right here. And let's see. Let's go right ahead and do a Sky Uppercut. Does it and there we go. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see what else we can find. And yes, another Pokemon trainer. I don't even know. Okay, so Thunder Attack since it's raining. And let's go with some more right here. Now I know that I should have gone to Professor Ivy, but I kinda wanna beat all these trainers before I get to her. Because I kinda don't want to deal with them afterwards, so yeah. I really don't know. <laughs> and Let's see, hopefully it doesn't lead me to something that I don't want to do. So here we found a rare candy. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. Trainer tips. Well, in the Orange Islands, you may experience some strong currents. Therefore, you will need a strong Pokemon that is able to surf. Okay. And here we're getting attacked by another Pokemon trainer. And... Oh, she's coming out with a Marowak. So I just keep on coming with the wrong Pokemon right here. So let's go with Irwin. And let's go surf attack. And look at that level 91. So let's continue. Crap baskets. I didn't even see that Pokemon. But look at that victory bell defeated. Coming out with a slow poke. Going with Sparky. And let's go with a thunder attack. And there it is. 79. Coming out with the Napsol. She's got a she's got a nice team going. Very very nice team. So let's go ahead and go with the sky uppercut. And bam. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so let's see, let's see. We're in Meadow Town. Okay, so I guess we should go to Professor Ivy since we defeated the trainers going into Meadow Town. And then, uh, yeah. So, anywho, um, yeah, uh, okay, so another thing that I. about Pokemon Sun and Moon. One thing that I really, really liked, and I hope they added this in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I really do like the fact that they have service Pokemon. Like, they took away the whole fly, strength, rock smash, dynamic, and all that stuff, and they just added six, maybe seven different Pokemon right here that, uh, you know, they are, you know, three, six or seven different Pokemon that, you know, you can just call out of whim, and you don't even have to, like, you don't even have to, like, uh, base your team off of, like, the, the HMs or TMs that you have around here. So that, I hope they added that. Comment down below if they, they still did. I kind of want to look what Pokemon they have right here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. They got a Breloom right here. Okay. So, yeah, guys, like I said, it, I hope they kept that. And, well, I'm just going to check what Pokemon they have here. Because, I don't know, I may want, I may want this Pokemon. And, no. Okay. That's nothing, so let's go straight up. And let's see. What does this guy have doing? Oh, he's just he's chilling. An electronic for me to fix, probably. And this is an electronic guy, Reddick. And well, 
Let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right now. And I'm pretty sure the creator of this, of this game didn't really have enough to like to, to go off of like music-wise and all that stuff just to create new music for this. They probably should have just kept the same Orange Islands kind of stuff music right here. Well, they did, but uh, something different from the battle scenes or something. That seems a little bored or something. I don't even know. So let's see, right here, nothing. It's just a bunch of palm trees and all that stuff. All right, so. Oh, we got double trainers. Double trainers. Okay, so hello, sir. Me and my sis want to battle. Okay, so here we go. Another uh, twins, Annie and Stiff, want to battle. And well, they got the legendary, well, pseudo legendary Pokemon right here. Let's go with Thunder since that works, and let's go with Strength on one Pokemon right here. There we go. And yes, we're gonna be yeah, we're gonna be getting confused right here. So let's go thunder. Let's go strength. Look at that. And well that is that. Okay, so let's see. Wow, more Pokemon trainers. Let's go right ahead and switch out right here. Let's go with Erwin. And well, let's just continue battling right here. We gotta get to where we got to get to. So here we go. Ice Punch does that thing, and he's coming in with a Shedinja. Now this Pokemon right here is a little... Oh, crud. It's a little weird. Okay. Waterfall? Wonder God. Okay. Okay, so this Pokemon is, like, invincible if you don't hit it, or if you hit it with its... Hold on. I think you need to hit it with a, with its weakness. And... Play thrower. Yes. Okay, so it only has one HP, but it's Wonder Guard... You know, it saves it from, you know, it saves it from its, you know, weakness and all that stuff. I don't even know, but it's a pretty good Pokemon. It's pretty confusing. People really don't know how to defeat it and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. That's that. It's the first time I actually saw a Shedinja used in battle and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. Oh, Professor Ivy's uh, lab is here. It's just, okay, I'm just checking to see if there's any more Pokemon trainers right here. Let's see. Oh, wow. You're not from around here, aren't you? My Pokemon are... would like to greet you. Which is good. Okay. Alright, so... There's that Machamp looking all crazy looking right here. And... Let's go again with another Waterfall. And that is that. Coming out with the Steelix. Okay. So, let's get Godzilla right here. Now, its fire attacks won't be that powerful since it's raining. But it will take out Steelix. Pretty good. Okay, so let's heal up our Pokemon, because I don't know what's going to happen right here. Alright, let's see. Professor Ivy's Research Lab. Watering flowers. Okay, especially those. Okay. Right in the garden. I see an item right there. Kind of want to get that. And we found ourselves a Luxury Ball. Pretty good, pretty good. And there is nothing there. Now, I would like to assume that Brock is here, probably. Let's see... Now, uh, this is Professor Ivy's Pokemon Research Lab. I'm one of the gardeners here. Okay, so let's see. Let's go into the lab and see what's up. Let's see. Who is you? I'm one of Professor Ivy's helpers. I'm doing some research for her at the moment. Okay. Alrighty, so... What the hell? What the hell? Okay, so... Hello, Professor Ivy. A package has arrived for you at the Meadow Town Pokemart. I'll take it to you by picking it up soon if you, if you can't think in advance. Uh, see you soon. Okay, so I guess that's the... Uh, yeah, they're going to... I guess we should go to the Metal Park or Metal metal Lands or something. I don't even know. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and try not to mess with these. Metal Town. Look at that. We just, we just got there. And bam, here we are, Meadow Town. We did. Oh wow! Then there's a Pokemon Gym there. Okay, so let's see what we got. And look at that, Professor Ivy, looking like Lorelai. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Thank you for this package. It came faster than I expected. See you later. Who are you, Draven? Oh yes, you're the. You're sent here by Professor Oak, right? I've been expecting you. 
I have, a t I have an item ready for you to take back to Professor Oak in the lab. Come by and pick it up there. It's at Route 48. See you soon! Okay, so... That's taken care of now. Okay, so... I guess... Let's see. Let's see. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Draven? Oh, yeah, that's cool. You're gonna have to wait in line. I'm gonna have to beat the leader first. No? I guess there's only one way to find a, uh, to settle this. Okay, so we're gonna be battling this guy. Probably you know, another guy that we that he has a, a strong team or something. And he's got six Pokemon, so... Yeah, he's got a Tyranitar on him. Holy crud. He's got a freaking Tyranitar, and he's got a Venusaur, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to unleash on this guy. And, well, flamethrower on here. Pretty good stuff. And... He's got a Salamence. Let's go back to Irwin right here. And... Well, we're gonna be physical with this Pokemon. Ice Punch. Salamence defeated. Dusclops coming out. Latios. And, let's see. Dragon Breath trying to paralyze this guy. And there's a Shadow Ball. And there's a Restore, and Crud, there you go. And coming out with a Milotic, now that's a very tough Pokemon right there. And let's see. Thunder Attack, come on, god dang it. And it's healing its Pokemon, so now it's just straight up Thunderbolt it. And it became healthy, god dang, this Pokemon is just like healing every single time. And this is the reason why I go speed button, because it's just like, you know, it's shit like this. Look at that. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. God dang it. Oh, God. This Pokemon is getting on my god dang nerves. Really? It's it's doing the same god dang thing. There we go. Suck on that. And he's coming out with a Charizard. So let's go with Erwin again. And, well, let's go Surf Attack right here for the win. And he's like, dang, I got beating. Beaten. And it's like, fine, I guess I'll go back to the Pokemon Center. I'll see you around, Draven. Okay, so who is the gym leader here? Meadowtown Pokemon gym leader. Sissy, the strong water Pokemon trainer. Okay, so before we go battle the gym leader, we, oh wait, that's the wrong place. Uh... We have got to go back to the other route. So let's go. Right here. Bam. And good. Alright, so. Let's see. Let's go right. Oh, wait, I, I keep on thinking Godzilla has, like, whatchamacallit. Uh, I think. It, I, I keep on thinking that it has, like, fly and stuff. So here we go. Flying back. And now we have to go to Professor Ivy right here. So. Let's continue on. Let's go, let's go. Here we are, Route 47. Going back up. The Sevi Islands and all that stuff. And we've already defeated all these trainers. Don't know what's going to happen, but they put a lot of palm trees right here. How in the hell did, like... God, it's like a goddamn maze right here. So, here we are, Professor Ivy's lab, and... Well, let's see. Ah, there she is. There's her beautiful self. And if you talk to her, there you are! P Professor Oak sure did pick a fine lad to pick up the GS ball. It's been a while since I had uh, my hands on one of these. The secret of this ball has yet to be discovered. Well, here it is. Take good care of it. And here it is, guys. We got ourselves a GS ball. And let's see. Professor Oak is waiting for that ball, so I suggest you deliver it right away. Professor Oak, give Professor Oak my regards. Okay, so that is that. So, I guess we're, yeah, you know what, we're gonna pause it right here, and, well, let's go ahead and take a look at what the GS ball looks like. Oh, there it is. It looks like an orb, but it says, a mysterious Pokeball given to you by Professor Ivy. It's rumored to contain a Pokemon. Yeah. And if you guys remember, in the anime, they never solved this situation, the GS ball. Uh, I heard, like, there were rumors that this was originally supposed to uh, contain Celebi and all that crud, but it, they never did anything. They really did nothing with it. Uh, it's been, like, almost 20 years since this whole thing broke out, so I don't know. So, 
Stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. Don't know what I'm going to do. I might go to Professor Oak. You know what? I'm probably going to go get a gym badge or something. I don't even know. But, yeah, we're going to go... You know what? Let's go to Professor Oak. And then uh, we'll figure out everything from there. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.